Welcome back to G Word, a show that wouldn't exist without one thing. Me, of course. No. I mean our loyal viewers. Yes, yes. So three things. You, our loyal viewers, and computers, for example. All this witty dialogue would dry up if the computer running our teleprompter suddenly stopped. Oh, it's, it's working again. <laughs> All right, well, what happens to those hundreds of millions of computers out there when they die? That's what our recycling expert Todd Sutton wanted to find out. I'm Todd Sutton, Way Sleuth, and my job is to keep stuff out of those trucks. Hello, this is Todd. Hundreds of computer systems? Mm hmm You want to recycle them? I'll come out and see what we can do. I'm here at Bank of the West. They're upgrading a bunch of computer systems, and they asked me to help them recycle their old equipment. How are you, Bob? Yes. Hi, hey, Todd. Todd yes. Bob Wolf. Nice to meet you. Let's go check it out. Let's okay. So it's right this way, Todd. In here? This is where we keep them. Whoa. Yeah. This is a tiny portion of what we have. So and how many do you figure? 2,000 PCs and monitors. You're going to get rid of 2,000 systems? Yes. Why so many? Banks and financial institutions, they're very technology dependent. And mm -hmm. with technology changing so quickly, we have to always update our hardware. And so this is what you get, a constant flow of, uh, of older technology. Amazing. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, right. but I will find a recycling station for you. Great. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate it. I'll be in it. touch soon. Thank you. Wow. They have over 2,000 computer systems. They want to recycle it. I'm going to help them figure it out, but i got to do some homework. In the U.S., every year, over 30 million computers are thrown away. And with technology just exploding, computers are needing a place to go. I'm coming to ECA because these guys actually do special collection. So I'm going to see if they can help me help the bank recycle all the computers. We've taken all the equipment collected from all around Los Angeles, and we bring it in here, and we sort it. We're the only recycler here in California that offers free recycling currently. We do computer electronic recycling and asset management. What do you mean by asset management? Well, the best way to reuse something is in its original form. So the good equipment that, that comes in our facility, we will asset manage, and we do it by reusing it in society. The equipment comes in, and we separate it to see what's reusable and what's just flat out needs to be recycled. Right here we have your plastics, and this is going to be crushed down, shredded, and that plastics that you're going to get will be used in playgrounds and fodder for in the roads here in California. What's going to happen with all these old monitors? These are CRTs, and in California, laws enable me to collect this equipment and actually get paid by the state to recycle it properly. So Eric, all this equipment, where does it go from here? Well, this type of equipment here will end up going to a larger recycling facility that will be breaking it up into its actual metal components. Mm -hmm. Everything that you see out here is all going to be going to a recycler, the end recycler. I just visited ECA. They receive tons of computers. They only sort it here. I'm going to the place where they actually recycle it. So I'm feeling pretty excited. I'm here at ARC where they recycle computer systems, and I'm going to meet a guy named Chad who's going to show me how it gets done. So Chad, this place is incredible. I mean, literally there must be tons and tons of computer systems here. Where's all this stuff coming from? We get them from government agencies, from schools, all the way down to like just regular people off the street. So all the material that's coming out of these computers, it's all going to be recycled? 100% of it is actually recyclable. Did you just say 100% of these computer systems are recyclable? Yeah, 100%. Excellent. So our loading docks are just through these doors. So this is new stuff coming in right now? Yeah, that is. That's just some computer towers right there. And then we put them here in our staging area. From here, they just grab computers individually by a time, and then they just open them up with just common tools. High-tech surgery here, huh? Get some of your energy out. Taking, he's getting the main board, and he puts it on the conveyor belt that's right over there, and then the guy that's on the other side of the conveyor belt sorts the parts that are coming off. So each of these elements are broken down and put in the individual boxes? Exactly, that's exactly it. What happens with the plastic that's been taken off? Well, the plastic is all sorted together, and then it's taken over to the baler, and it's made into cubes. That's really cool. That plastic can be recycled into anything that you make plastic again with, like the housing of a cell phone. Next, we have different machines for the different parts. 
for the actual cards, we'll show you how we take some of the gold fingers off. These are the fingers you're talking these about? These are the fingers right here. They just cut off the tops of these, and then these are separated. If you look in this box, that wow. is pretty much mostly gold on all of those. Amazing. It is. So, Chad, can I cut some fingers off? Yeah, sure. Wow. Look at all those. Box full of gold. So, Chad, what's going on here? Well, this is where all the printed circuit boards end up. They get thrown through this machine. This is the final stop for the circuit board. The boards are ground down, right? Okay. Into fine powder, and then anything that's ferrous can get separated by magnets, and then the other metal is by weight. Wow. Right here is our most powerful cable stripper. So they're putting in all the different cables in this machine. It goes up the conveyor belt, and then it is ground up into different components. It runs up and it's pulverized, so it comes into a fine type powder. And what the last part is, with all that shaking that, it's kind of like when they're panning for gold. It's all separated by its weight. So the copper, it's going to be the heaviest. So it goes to the far right. Plastic being the lightest. When it shakes, it kind of bounces up into the air. Uh -huh. So that goes into the middle pile. That, that's kind of like magic. That thing is really cool. It is awesome. I just want to thank you. Really, really impressive. Oh, it was my pleasure. Now I know that the bank that I'm working with, all the computers are going to be recycled. In fact, they're going to be recycled into something like this. My phone. Got to go. Here's a tip, by the way, if you're upgrading your computer, there are lots of places that will accept those older but still working models. Good news for you, Dan. I know. Sometimes I need a bit of an upgrade. All right, well, check your local Yellow Pages for a computer recycling center near you. And you know what else is no longer working? Me, because today's show is over, but we'll be back with another exciting hour of green. Slacker. We'll see you soon.